All right, I got the paid version of Repurpose.io, so you don't have to. Repurpose is basically an automation software, so if you have one piece of content, you can post across multiple social medias without doing any work. So if you're a TikToker, you can post your TikToks on literally any social media platform without modern watermarks automatically. So let's walk through the paid version of the software and see if it's actually worth it. Does it actually get the job done? Should you buy it? Let's find out. Okay, so let's do a complete tutorial, my initial reaction, my feedback, and determine if this software is actually worth it. All right, to start it off, landing page is okay. It's not too bad, not great. It's pretty normal. It looks like one of those templated ones. Uh, pretty simple sign-up page over here. Uh, I do not like the fact that they don't have Google authentication or any other SSO. I hate filling these forms out. I'd rather just, you know, have it all happen just with a single click, just Google, Facebook, actually doing this space. Google or Twitter sign in would be great for me. Okay, so once we sign in, we see the screen. It looks like, you know, it's a kind of new software, rough around the address, but props to the team. Getting it out there, you know, launching is always uh, the hardest part. Uh, looks like we see here a getting started video, which is nice to do, uh, you know, for a new product. People might not know how to use it. It's kind of good to have a video right in the face. Uh, we see here workflows, connections, templates, resources. Uh, as, as a new user, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Uh, clear the button here is like, you know, create a new workflow, but it's disabled. Looks like they want me to add connections first. So let's see what that is. Um, this is where I'm gravitating uh, as a user. Um, add a new connection. All right. Whoa, my Siri is just going off. Uh, well, I'm ESL, so Siri probably can't recognize me. Anyway, uh, looks like they want me to connect my different accounts. So it could be source or destination. I have all my content at TikTok, so I'll use TikTok as a source. Um, I'm just gonna skip this part here. I've already connected all this stuff, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like after. So yeah, adding, so I've added all my sources here. Adding sources was actually not bad at all. It was simple authentication. Uh, so, you know, just logging through you. TikTok, Pinterest, what have you. If you wanna add any new connection, you can just simply go through it and it's gonna walk you through the process, just, you know, giving permissions, signing your life and your content away, pretty usual stuff. Um, once we do all the stuff, uh, what do I do now? As a, as a workflow here, it doesn't really tell me what to do. So that's something that can improve on the user experience, experience design. Um, I'll just go to workflow here. Okay, once you go to workflow, I have a couple of workflows already set up. So I'll show you how you can create a new workflow. Essentially, you go here and then you name whatever you want to name your workflow. Let's say uh, test workflow one. Very descriptive. Uh, now you choose a source. I have two different sources here. As you saw earlier, we noticed you could choose a you know, destination and source. So I've got TikTok as my source type. Um, choose a source connection. So I'm gonna choose a source connection here. I only see one option. I'm not entirely sure what this means. Maybe I have multiple accounts authenticated. I'm not sure. But I only have one option, so I'm gonna go with it. Once I go here, I'm gonna choose an action. Um, I'm going to upload a video. I don't want to, do not want to convert video to audio. It's good to have full video or snippets, clips. Let's do full video. Uh, and next, my destination here, it could be TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest. This is where you pick where you want to push that video to. It could be any social media platform, whichever accepts a file format. Uh, and then I'll choose the playlist or any account if there is a thing there. And then you hit done there. All right, I got two workflows set up. TikTok to Pinterest, TikTok to YouTube Shorts. If I hit auto button, is it gonna post all my five, six year TikToks? Let's find out. Oh, never mind. Uh, so it essentially asked me which date, since which date I wanna trigger this workflow. That's actually a really good feature because uh, or else I'm probably gonna get flagged by the YouTube like, hey, why are you uploading 500 videos all at once? That's good to know. Uh, I've kept my stuff to manual just because I wanted to like actually see what I'm pushing out. I don't wanna push out every single stuff. So once we get into the workflow, we're gonna see literally all my TikTok videos posted in chronological order. And if this has been published onto Pinterest using the platform, it'll have a tag here published. Uh, so let's publish one more here just for the just for the sake of it. Uh, let's publish this one right here. It's about Pinterest. Um, they have here like description and title. That's something I actually don't like. I don't like them to copy the title and description the same. Um, so I wish uh, there was a better way to do this. 
uh, and then I could add any link I want to let my pin to go to and upload a custom Pinterest cover image. So I think they have actually like uh, made this custom to each and every platform you can cross post to, which is super cool. I could schedule my post or I could publish right away. Let's publish right away because what the heck. Um, all right, let's see what happens. A few moments later. It says the video is queued. So what I've noticed is that the status doesn't change until I refresh the page itself. Uh, it does post the video like within 30 seconds. So I'm gonna wait 30 seconds. I'm gonna refresh the page and see what happened. Um, yeah, in the meantime, this is fairly straightforward. All you see, all your videos, you can hit publish. Uh, you could fetch content. You could retry if something failed. I actually never had that happen to me. Uh, what's settings, I wonder. Um, okay, so it's like if you need to change the video style, you wanna do any caption colors. Is this in the video that's happening? Or what's going on? Let's find out. All right. Caption, okay. No, no. I'll do this. Nothing happened. All right, something happened. Something happened. Uh, intro file, outro file. Oh, it's just if I want to have some intro and outro to each video that's being pushed. That's cool. That is cool. I could have email notifications for custom publication. That's pretty cool too. Default Pinterest link, it's good to have. I can direct like, the traffic to my website if I'm an e-commerce company for each video. Appending text to description. Okay, I like that. It's cool. Uh, might not work for all the videos just because you want to have some keyword targeting. It's cool to have it over here. These are neat features. All right, let's reload this or we can refresh from here uh, and see if the video has been published or not. Drum roll. Okay, uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, it's still processing, still processing. All right, the video is published. Uh, and unlike this icon here, you can just go and see your published video right away. It's a quick, uh, neat little hack here. It's a neat little feature. And uh, all right, I'm on Pinterest. My video is here. My big fat face is up here. And I do not see the watermark on the video. That's a success, guys. That's a success, it works. Uh, so that's that's neat. Uh, going back to the workflows now. Um, yeah, the same way the workflow works for every other platform. Uh, and I think it does customize the fields that you would want to use for each platform like we saw in Pinterest. Let's say if we go to the YouTube part of it, we will probably see some different fields in terms of publishing the content, maybe some keywords in there as well. So for YouTube, if we go hit publish for any video, what we're going to see here, title, description, keyword. So see, that's something different than Pinterest because this is more tailored toward uh, YouTube. So I'm going to use a digital, so I'm going to use a digital marketing keyword. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I'm still new to like YouTube, even shorts as well. I'm going to remove the description. Just keep the title as this. Uh, I'm not going to use a cover because I don't have one just now. So I'm going to hit publish. Hey, whatever. Let's just post it on YouTube shorts. Why not? Maybe we'll get viral. All right. Let's talk about the pricing and the final verdict. So you can start out with a 15 day trial that lets you publish up to 10 videos. It's a great way to kind of test the waters without the credit card, because remember doing that. Uh, essentially, like you're gonna either paying 15 or 25 bucks a month, which I don't think it's that bad. Most offers in this space are like pretty much like that. You know, they're probably gonna inter incorporate uh, analytics into it. Uh, Later.com is 50 bucks, Bootstrap is like 100 bucks, but they don't have this particular feature. So it's pretty good pricing in my opinion. And in terms of my final verdict, all right. Um, I think it's a good software if you just want to cross post your content and you don't want to worry too much about the keywords. Uh, however, if you really care about the SEO on Pinterest or on YouTube, you want to be really strategic, strategic with the hashtags, it might not be as useful to you. Uh, however, I would say this software works. I think the beauty is like the killer for me is just like it removes the watermark. That to me, like is this money worth it? Uh, even though I might still be using a lot of custom words and hashtags and stuff, I can still do it through their like gimme key or like, you know, not so well done UI right now, but I can still kind of put some keywords in there, at least get started uh, until I'm ready to scale up. In the meantime, I can just use this to remove a lot of the overhead. So I think even if I pay $25 a month, it's probably worth uh, the money based on the time I'm going to save 
just to, you know, managing all my digital assets. All right, that's it for the video. It's a new channel. Don't forget to like, comment, um, let me know what your thoughts are, how you like the content, and what else you want to see. Any of the software you want me to review, walk through, get a paid plan so you don't have to. Keep it posted.